Hello and welcome on the Ghost of Touch. Today, uh, well, I've done a few one-sided, you know, videos of climate change. And I thought I'd do one, uh, one, do a bit of research of on the other side. Let's see what the, yeah, fuss is about. <coughs> well, anyway, here it goes. Um, on the NOAA, the National Ocean, Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration website, they say the uh, combined global land and ocean surface temperature for October of this year was of uh, 0 0.34 degrees Celsius, that's 0 0.97 degrees Fahrenheit, above the 20th century average of 14 degrees Celsius, which is 47.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and response to, uh, and, uh, no response, respect since the 8th warmest October since records began in 1880. Uh, October 2003 is the warmest October on record the rains associated with the October of 2010 global temperature anomaly is plus or minus 0 0.08 degrees Celsius, which is about 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, NOAA <coughs> uses the central value of this range, which is the most likely value to, to determine the rank. The areas that were was most affected across of course were Alaska, Canada, Northern Africa, the Middle East, uh, Kazakhstan I don't I think I pronounced that right. I think I pronounced it wrong. Anyway. And most of Russia. Most of uh, Europe Mongolia and most of Australia were cooler than average. And the um, NASA has done a, a new article on the subject. Uh, the uh, I'll read the some of it. The Obama administration is acting on it recently. Uh, we conditionally that climate change is a definite, defining issue of our generation. Our responses, uh, their responses to the, the challenges of climate change, of co accurate production, uh, not production, predic prediction, equitable, uh, adaptation. Uh, and efficient, efficient mitigating uh, will influence the quality of life for the for the entire world for generations to come. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's trying to sum it up a bit. Uh, oh, I did. I thought, fuck it. Anyway, the uh, president. FY 2011 budget request provides a uh, cumulative 10.3 billion dollars funding to NASA's Earth Science Program over the period of FY 2011 to 2015 to address pressing scientific and national issues associated with climate change and the National Nations Climate Research and uh, Monitoring cap Capabilities and is recommended by the National Research uh, Council's NRC's um, Earth Science and Applications uh, Decadal Surface Survey this FY 2011 project request returns NASA Earth Science Science funding to the 
approximate level that it had in FY2000. What's the FY mean? Anyway? Anyway. An increase of more than 30% from recent levels, this funding allows, the, allows for the uh, assassination and exp expans expansions of activities across the entire uh, coordinated earth science program. The, in the areas of flight missions, research and applications and earth science missions technology developing program uh, hang on. I'm back on uh, technology development development thus advancing the balance and scoop that has been hallmarks of NASA Earth science Earth System Science. This document outlines the interrogated NASA Earth Science programs enabled by the FY 2011 budget request and a whole lot more information on that. I'll give you a few links because uh, this document is a uh, download for the uh, PDF and uh, go on the PC. Anyway, onwards over the last decade NCAR Climate Global uh, Dinner Dynamics CGD uh, the vision has provided compa uh, comprehensive three dimensional globe atmospheric model to the to uh, university and NCRA uh, NCAR <coughs> NCAR even scientists for use in the uh, in the analysis and understanding of the global climate basic uh, no basic because of its widespread use the model was designed for community com uh, community climate model CCM the original version of CCM the CCMOA was based on the Australian spectrum model developed by W Berkey B McAvenue McAvenue, uh, K. Prue and R. Thurling, and was described in W. M. Description uh, Washington in documenting for documenting for the community climate model CCM version O version O uh, zero uh, uh, technology report N. T. I. S. P. B. B. Uh, T. Uh, uh, this guy, uh, Technology, ne techno technical report NTIS PB eight two one nine four one nine two, climate section, the National Center for At At Atmospheric Research, uh, Boulder, Colo, nineteen eighty two, and in important building of the concept of the NCAR community model occurred in the in late 1881 1981 1981 uh, with NCAR's the decision to utilize the same basic code for global forecast studies both medium and long range and for climate simulation Economy, eco economy, and and uh, increased uh, effect, uh, efficiency, uh, efficiency could then be achieved by documenting and maintaining only one set of model codes. The use of one basic model for both forecasting and climate studies uh, was also seen to have great potential scientific value since a major part of medium range one to two week forecast error to, is due to the drift toward a model climate which 
differs from that of the atmosphere, thus improvements in the climate at aspect of the model should lead to import improvements and uh, improvement forecasts. Similarly, similarly, uh, many phys physical uh, power parameterizations are, are deterministic rather than scientific in the sense that they are based on the details of the current model state rather than mm, rather than on some past statistical properties thus as uh, performance aspects of of a parameterized physics could uh, can be studied improved and verified by examining them them in a forecast mode the royal society has this to say there is no such thing as a safe climate change even the global temperature increases to date about 0.75 degrees celsius is contributing to effects that are impossible to, uh, to adopt in to to in some regions notably small low-lying islands and coastal areas as the temperature raises further so will the risk of more widespread and dangerous climate climate inspect impacts even from sea li sea level rises. If the world's gonna heat up, wouldn't the uh, seas uh, heat up as well? Like evaporate you know, more and stay in the atmosphere. Well that's how I see it. If you like. Leave a comment down below to explain it. Anyway, from increasing the frequency and intensity of climate extremes such as heat waves, floods and droughts, especially in vulnerable areas, a maximum temperature increases of increase of two degrees Celsius since pre industrial times has been adopted adopted by many nations as a goal to pre 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 prevent dangerous climate change. If global greenhouse gas GHG emissions are reduced at 3 to 4 percent per year after 2020 it has been est estimated that there are that there is a 50 50 chance of limited global temperature increases up to roughly 2 degrees Celsius but only of if GHG emissions begin to decline within the next decade by 2050, uh, emissions would need to be down to near 50% of their of their 